I know you love your Malaysian, sure. Singapore, you know, that Asian flavour. So, obviously, it's your birthday. I needed to treat you to something extra special. Cool. But this is also, uh, uh, as well as being kind of really, really dead simple, you know, it tastes unbelievable. Cool. This is one of my favourites. It's a perfect winter warmer, so I'm Great. cooking you Malaysian braised beef short ribs. Cool. So, in this pan here, all in one pan, which is absolutely oh. perfect. No, you're Look talking. at these beef short ribs. OK, now these, this is a cut of meat that traditionally is very, very cheap. Right. OK, and then some of the restaurants have kind of gotten hold of it, you know, and, and it's become one of these kind of real, real trendy ingredients to use. And these cook down and they are absolutely delicious. Um, for this recipe, you need about one and a half kilos, which sounds a lot, but there's, there's, there's a lot of bone within course, that as well. OK, but what I've done here in a pan, I've just sealed them off really, really quickly okay. over a nice high heat because we want to get that caramelisation and that colour on there. Yeah. OK. So, in the same pan, we go in with onion, we go in with some chilli. Yep. Obviously, extra chilli today, Lorraine, it's your birthday, Excellent, you know. thank you. Um, <laughs> we've also got some fresh ginger, which I've just grated down. And also some garlic. So, just get that in there. And that's the kind of basis for this, sure. this curry, which is absolutely amazing. You know, we want to start cooking those amazing flavours out. Lemongrass as oh. well, which is going to add an amazing fragrance. So just use a you knife bash it, yeah. and give it a bash. Right. And I like to keep it whole because I don't like all the kind of... It's quite Define fibrous. The, yes, I know what okay? you mean. So yeah. I keep it whole, I pop it in and then I take it out before serving. Okay. But that's going to and add such an amazing flavour yeah. to that. So cook that for around five minutes. And then we've got our spices. So here I've got some garam masala, mm -hmm. which is a nice spice blend. So I've got cumin, coriander, Nothing. clove. Everything you might want in a, in a spice is in there. And I've got some turmeric, so that goes in, along with some cinnamon and some paprika. Lovely. So that goes in as well. That's all my favourite things you're putting in there. All your well, it's your birthday, mm. you know. I know I keep going on about it, but I'm mm. spoiling you today, Lorraine. Thank you. So we cook that out, <laughs> OK? Then we go in with some tomato puree. Now, this is going to thicken it up, but also going to add a great kind of background tomato -y rich taste to this. So we pop that in, give that a little bit of a stir. And again, we want to cook out the rawness of the tomato paste for about a minute or so. Mm. Right, at this point, we go in with our stock, OK? Now, this is beef stock. You can use whatever stock you like, okay. but I think the beef just... This is a nice, rich winter warmer. Sure. So I like the beef. And then we've got a tin of coconut milk. So that goes into... Right, it's literally as simple as that. That is simple. You bring that up to easy. a simmer, OK? What I'm going to do is pop the short ribs oh, back in. Oh, OK. We pop a lid on and we chuck that in the oven, right. set it at 160, gas mark 3, and we want to pop that in there for around two to two and a half hours. But okay. it's one of those dishes, it benefits on kind of... The longer you can cook it for, yeah. you know, the more tender and delicious it's actually going to be. So, so as I'm... long as you can. So it's just, I guess, you just want it to fall off the bone, don't exactly. you? Exactly. Yeah. At the end, I'm going to season that with some sugar, some lime juice, that sweet and sour element. Right. But I'm also going to cook you some coconut rice as well. Oh, lovely. OK, because I know you love your coconuts. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got equal amounts, coconut milk and stock. Your basmati rice goes in, right. pop a lid on, yep. turn it down to its lowest setting, and just let it tick away. Around 12 to 15 minutes, that's going to be perfect. Excellent. Don't touch it. Perfect, fluffy rice. Gorgeous. OK, Lorraine. Oh, look, look at, at that. these. These are wow. absolutely amazing, oh, unreal. And this rich, thick mm. sauce is just going to kind of coat absolutely everything that's there. That's beautiful. OK, Lorraine, why don't you... This is going to be kind of messy to well, eat, no, though. Do you know what? I know the ribs, but that meat will just pull will just, apart. Will I, be able to, I'll be able to just eat it like that? Exactly. <gasps> but when I said I didn't have another surprise for you, I was <laughs> kind of lying a little bit, Lorraine, you know? <laughs> you know me. <laughs> so, Mad. here we go. Just as well you didn't have 57 candles on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday again. to you, Lorraine. Thank you, and you've Hopefully got penguins you on it and penguins, everything. You know, we've gone oh, all out for you today, Lorraine. So lovely. You're happy such, birthday to you. Hope you're you have such an a great day. guy. I will, I will. And, I'm, mm. and what are we saying oh. about the Malaysian braised beef? That is incredible. Put some back for your lunch. Oh, the whole pot for me. <laughs> all for me and the whole cake. And the cake. Oh, there that's amazing. That is so good. Thank you. No problem Thank at all. Thank you, guys. Thank you.